They do sometimes come up with their mouth open, but that's one of the coolest things about them. They come up, like I said, like a ticked off dragon. That's what they look like. They come up head first. He's almost too big to lift out the water. That's a good one. Look at that. You wonder why those things can swallow a whole salmon? Go on, fish grip. I don't think them boys from Mississippi with that fish grip have, uh, have seen it used on lingcod yet. I would imagine that's probably the first one of a lingcod's jaws that you've seen with a fish grip. That right there is one of my favorites. See those crusher plates? You can see all the way down his throat into his stomach, which I'm not hurting him. There's nothing wrong with him. Usually these fish will kick their stomach contents out when they come up, and there's nothing at all wrong with that big joker. There's a lot less wrong with him than there would be if it was lingcod season, because I would have to make you into a beer-battered fish stick. Going back where you came from, buddy. Sometimes they get like a greenish blue tint in their mouth and their head. I don't know why. I've heard it's what they eat. And a lot of times, if you were to clean this one, he'll have blue meat, greenish blue meat. Nothing wrong with them. Just the color that they get. Pretty cool looking. From Seward, Alaska, with a 100 pound halibut in my lap. We'll see you next week on Big Water Adventures. Pacific halibut are found on or near the continental shelf through much of the northern Pacific. They spend much of their time on the ocean floor, disguised from predators by the camouflaged right side of their body. Halibut are voracious predators, swimming higher in the water to feed. Male halibut rarely grow three feet, but female halibut can grow longer than eight feet and more than 500 pounds. The stuff hadn't come in yet, hadn't started coming in yet, and it should have already. So let's just stay. And boy, did it pay off. I mean, because I thought the show was over. I legitimately did. So once it gets dark, that's when it gets crazy. Five minutes before midnight, Terry dropped his line in the water. Boom, he hooks on a 120 some pound, 130 pound halibut right off the bat. She made a couple of runs. It took about 40 minutes to bring it in. I think we're wearing this fish down, guys. Yeah, we'll keep it. Mark drops his line in the water right after midnight and he has a fish well over 100 pounds on. So we got two fish right in the dark uh, that are over 100 pounds. 